And was Speaker Cassidy spying on House lawmakers? Tonight, those allegations only adding to the drama surrounding the House Speaker right now. News Channel 5's Chris Conti continues our team coverage from the Capitol, where some lawmakers demand the U.S. Attorney now investigate Cassidy. And Rory, House Democrats held nothing back today. They say that if Glenn Cassidy was secretly recording meetings without anyone's consent, that he committed a felony. They were so furious that they sent this letter to the Attorney General in Nashville asking him to investigate. And that was not the only bizarre development from outside the Speaker's office today. This is a grave and serious matter. Turn up the volume on your TV for just a moment and listen. This is not the sound of silence. Outside Speaker Glenn Cassidy's office, it appears that a number of white noise machines have been installed. Why? No one had an explanation today. But those machines don't appear anywhere else at the Capitol. This is ridiculous. For all of the noise coming from outside of Speaker Cassidy's office today, it was Democrats who were the loudest inside theirs. Further evidence that he needs to step down. Democratic House Leader Mike Stewart did not use those words lightly. He was concerned over reports which surfaced last night indicating Speaker Cassida has been accessing cameras and microphones inside House committee rooms at an apparent attempt at spying on private meetings. This building better be a place where people can have private conversations without being spied on as if they're in Russia. Democrats went further, saying that if this happened, it constitutes a felony. They then sent a letter to the U.S. attorney today asking for a full investigation. If in fact it's true that a spying system was set up, then we need to know what officials used it and what individuals in government were responsible for setting it up. Who was aware that this existed? Did anyone question it? All adding to the noise that seems to be permeating the Capitol right now. While Speaker Cassida responded to and apologized for those racially charged and sexually explicit texts, he made no mention today about the possibility that his office was illegally and possibly criminally surveilling lawmakers. At the Capitol this evening, Chris Conti, News Channel 5.